Hi, I'm Jess. And I'm Noah, and welcome to Holier School and our 14 plus virtual open evening. If you're looking for an amazing environment to study your GCSEs that offers exciting activities in and out of school, then keep watching. We're going to be talking to some students and some teachers to find out all you need to know about why it has to be holier. Good evening everyone, my name's Nick Fall and I'm head teacher here at Holia. I hope you've enjoyed that video which gives you a flavour of what our school is all about. In non-COVID times, I would be with you in the school hall, about 500 of you jam-packed in, trying to convey with full enthusiasm and passion why I think Holia is so important. And even though we've had to adapt and move to a virtual parents' evening, I'm determined to still show that passion about why Holier offers so many opportunities for students. When I think about Holier, I think about our four school aims, and I'd like to share those with you now. Our first school aim is that we excel in our learning. One of the things that makes Holier a unique school is that our students consciously make a choice to apply to join us. I see so many examples, day in, day out, of students excelling in their learning. Only this morning, supporting Eve with her application to read for a natural sciences degree at Cambridge. I was truly inspired by the passion she shares for physics. Think of later in the day with Ollie, supporting his application to read for a politics and international relations degree. He's driven by a real desire to change the world around him. And I think to later in the day, and Emily, supporting Emily's relentless drive to gain more and more work experience to help support her dream career of working in events management. Another distinctive part of the Holier approach is that we see our programme as a four-year journey for students. So we're not only about GCSEs. Every minute of every day in year 10 and 11, we're preparing our students for their sixth form courses in A-level or international baccalaureates. And the focus of our work is always through year 10 and 11 to be thinking about university application and being ready for careers. That four-year approach really makes a difference. And I'm so proud to tell you that for the last three years running, our students have produced results that place them in the top 10% of all UK schools in terms of value-added performance at sixth form level. Our second aim is to make a positive difference in everything we do. A key part of the Holier ethos is to nurture an understanding that the greatest likelihood of long-term happiness and fulfillment comes from helping others and giving back to the community. So yes, exams and qualifications are important, but they're only a small part of our story. We have the highest of ambitions for our students to go out there and challenge and change the world around them. We want our students to be the politicians of the future, directing the way Jersey copes with the coming years. We want our students to be the lawmakers, the creative thinkers, to be those who question us and are critical of us at the same time. Join Holia and you will be equipped with the skills to make that difference. Our third school aim is that we treat everyone within our community with fairness, respect, and care. At Holia, we truly celebrate diversity. 
Yes, we're a community, but we're also a collection of individuals. And it's so important to me that every individual in the school feels heard. Our student council is a really essential part of how we make the school better. Every term we work with the council, and we listen to their suggestions as to how Holio can become better. So if you join Holio, we very much hope that you will become part of that council. After all, it is your school and your ideas for improving it are always welcome. Remember that when you arrive at Holio, it is a fresh start. So regardless of challenges you might have experienced in the past, regardless of your personality, regardless of your ambitions, we're here to support you, to care for you, to listen to you. Our final school aim is to believe in our capability to make the world a better place. And yes, we are proud of it. Holy students have gone on to achieve so many magical things. But perhaps a good way to think about it is to ask the question, what would we want Holier students to achieve 10 years after leaving us? As it happens, I was trawling through the school archives last week, and I found a photograph of four members of our student leadership team, Natalie, Fran, Connor, and Aaron. The natural starting point is to ask, well, what are their jobs? What are they doing? Well, of course, they're doing remarkable things. Natalie is a lawyer, Fran is a doctor working in Glasgow, Connor is an engineer and master planner, and Aaron is a teacher. But for me, that's not what really counts. What really is important is the values that these four tremendous young people show. As they did in their time at Holia, they always put others before themselves. They believe that their work is a way of making a difference to the world. They believe that they really are making the world a better place. So whilst these four Holians have gone on to achieve amazing things, it's not their job titles we cling to, it's the values that they espouse. It's the values they show day in, day out, whilst they're at school. Putting others before themselves. Being committed to using their work to help others in the community. Always, always showing fairness, respect and care to the people they live and work with. I know at times we can all lack confidence, but I want you, the future students of Holia, to really believe that you can build a better world. Join us and start that journey. Back now to Noah and Jess. Thank you, Mr. Fall. And now we're joined by some of our students from years 10 and 13. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for being a part of our panel today. Alex, can we start with you? What do you enjoy about the school community? Maybe tell us a bit about yourself. Yeah, hi, my name's Alex. I'm a year 13 IB student, and I've been here four years since year 10 in GCCs. And I think this is a really great community at Holier School because you're coming into a school of like-minded individuals who are really looking to achieve high and succeed, and you you get to become part of this holier community of really great friends who are all quite uh, nice, friendly people and approachable and you, can, you know that you can go and talk to anyone at any time. There's a huge, like, swarm of people you meet mm -hmm. and they're amazing. It's a real diverse community and there's so many interests and enjoyments for the school. I'm really proud you brought up the community aspect of it because I think that's a big part of it. Yeah, I agree. And Ben, what were your first impressions when you started Holia? Well, to be honest, in the first like few days, it was very scary, but that is an actual response to coming to a new environment. Yeah. But in the first couple of weeks, I just found myself just settling in just naturally. And I found myself being part of a Patonk team in my form, uh, being part of the charity committee. Mm -hmm. And with a few of my classes, I got to know my teachers very well. And I really enjoy how um, Mandarin is a very unique subject to Holia, and I just really enjoy it here. That's great. That's brilliant, Ben. Um, Amber, you're also relatively new to the school, but what do you think in these first couple of weeks have said out it's quite a unique place to be? Yeah, well, I think it's quite, it's quite different because it's quite a mature environment. Like, everybody has a lot of trust in them. Like, everybody's really trustworthy and everybody's quite well behaved, what I've seen so far. 
Yeah. Brilliant. I mean, Brogan, we're starting to look towards the future, but what are your plans and how has Holia really prepared you for these? I would like to go to university to, t- uh, to study aerospace engineering. And Holia has prepared me quite well, I believe, actually. Uh, my subjects, maths, further maths and physics, have all been very heavily based around mechanics. And all the equations that we learn, the way that they teach us, has really helped me understand and really get the base knowledge for it, which has been great, because without the foundations, you can't really go and reach for the skies, you know? (laughs) Brilliant. All right, Ben, why did you choose to come to Holier in the end? Um, Well, one of the main reasons was because I heard that Holier was a really prestigious school with these amazing students that come out here with brilliant grades. And for students who do want to go beyond, it is a brilliant school to go to. But do you think that support there has really helped you meet those challenges? The support from teachers, they are brilliant. They will help you along the way. They understand how you'll feel. And it's just... If you need help, they're there for you. Amber, I was just going to ask, could you tell us a bit about the activities you get involved in outside of your lessons? So I do netball on a Tuesday after school and we usually do matches on like a Thursday. And I really like netball because I've I've made so many new friends from it and we obviously all do netball, so we bond really well about that. (laughs) Yeah. Excellent. Emily, what would you say the environment like is holy? What's the lesson environment like? The lesson environment, I think everyone wants to be here, so it's quite a chilled environment. It's quite relaxing and calm. There's not many disruptions, which is good. I, I agree with you. We're in mm-hmm. film studies together. Yeah. I think you can tell the atmosphere there is for people who genuinely enjoy film yeah. and yeah. who, who want to be there to study the subject. Yeah, and it's good because like, you pick the subjects that you want to do. Everyone's passionate about those subjects, so you can kind of like learn to learn about the subjects together and it's just it's a great atmosphere to be in. Brilliant. Brogan, what advice would you give to students considering joining Holia? To just calm down about it. Like like Ben said, the support and the support from the teachers is amazing. If I've ever struggled, I've just gone to one of my teachers. They've really helped me get through the work. I know that when we write the tests at the end of the year, that I will be fully prepared and hopefully get those eight stars that I'm <laughs> aiming for. Um, but yeah, they're very, they're almost like friends that like teach you and guide you through the work that we have to do. Obviously, sometimes they're annoying because <laughs> of the work. Well, they're teachers. But, you know, they, they're quite nice. They're very helpful and you know that they'll get you to where you want to go and they'll put all the effort that they can into that. I couldn't agree with you more. Um, exams for anyone in the four years, the cover year, are going to be a point of stress. Yeah. And, but teachers here are fantastic. And the relationships you build with them, how they can teach you, and how you can even pull them aside sometimes and just chat. Make sure you know what's happening in the yeah. course. Just checking up on you. Like just the other day, I talked to a teacher who was just making sure everything was okay and that I was fine with the course and everything. And that's a brilliant thing about Holia. Right, Amber, how did you feel when you first started here? Definitely nervous, like, the first few days. But, like, what you've got to remember is everybody's new, everybody's coming here new, so you can just make friends really easily. And you don't need to be nervous about anything, and the teachers are all really welcoming. Right, Emily, you've been here four years. Mm. That's a long time, <laughs> right? <laughs> How do you think you've changed? How do you think... What lessons have you learnt over that time? I think my confidence is definitely something that's changed a lot. When I first joined Holia, I was quite shy, and I wasn't very confident at all, but... Like after four years, my confidence has grown a lot and I'm now like doing new things and putting myself out there, which I wouldn't do before I was at Holia. Because it's just, I think Holia pushes you to, well, to aim for the highest. <laughs> Super Tama, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I think it's just, just my, if I could give ed- advice to anyone, it'd be just try, just do as much as you can and put yourself out there and just take every opportunity that's given to you because at the end of the day, it's going to help you. I think, I know, how you've got involved has really helped you grow and helped me grow too, just joining some of the things and being there with you. If there's a key takeaway, I think you'd agree with me about people coming to Holia, for those who decide to watch this and end up coming, it's get involved because you won't regret it. 
I mean, Rogan, we've kind of talked about the events that go on in Holia, but can you tell us about the ones that you particularly like? So Chic Week is quite an experience, if you would say. So it's a week, like once a year, towards the beginning, the start of the year, where for the whole week they have a different theme each day. So it really helps the year 10s and like the guys that are going into um, starting A-levels. They really become more comfortable at the school because everyone's dressed up in weird clothing. Yeah. There's stuff all around the school, all over the walls. So it makes you feel like a lot more comfortable within the school, which is really nice. And then there's another Battle of the Bands, yeah. which is also really nice because you get to hear music from your friends and things like that. And who knows, you could find like genres of music that you've never heard before and you're really interested in it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, guys. Um, it's now time to find out a little bit more about the school from Mr. Fall. And as he mentioned earlier, he's a former student here. And last year, he was joined by the former head girl and head boy, Freya and Josh, to talk about his experiences. We both remember our first days coming in and meeting all of our, who are now our best friends. Can you remember your first day at Holia? Strangely enough, I remember it like yesterday. I remember taking a lot of time with my hair because at the time I was growing my hair long and that was very important to me. I was perhaps a little lost in my education um, and I found a whole group of teachers and a school community who took a personal interest in me, really encouraged and nurtured me. And really, it's not an exaggeration to say it changed the course of my whole life and really influenced my decision to become a teacher. Um, and you can see if you look here in this book here, this is going back too many years and just over here you can see this is me when I'm looking relatively young at the start of my holier career. It really taught me the importance of forming positive relationships with students and, and actually helping students is relatively easy if you value those positive relationships and that's what we try and do in this school and I hope that's something you'll be able to say when you've left that you've had that experience. How do you think you guys have changed. What Holy has done for me is that I kind of joined with no self-confidence or any idea that you know, I didn't think I'd ever be able to stand up in front of a classroom and speak, let alone do a Zoom call to the entire school. But it's that kind of, it lets you build up self-confidence. You can come in thinking that you're absolutely no good at anything, but then you'll end up being able to do assemblies, <laughs> being pulled in on the morning to the morning of it to fill in a gap and you'll be able to smash it. And that, that's what we want our new students to see, those who join us at 14, because I remember you at 14 <laughs> and how you were, and it's that journey, and yeah. that's one of the distinctive things about Holier, it's that four-year journey. We don't mm -hmm. just think about GCSEs, we think about your GCSEs, your A-levels or your international baccalaureate courses and the university or employment opportunities. For, for me then, Holier has been great for being able to grow and feeling empowered to do whatever I want, but what would you say makes Holia special for the Holia and what sort of person do you think it's geared towards? I think we're always careful about avoiding categorising students into pigeonholes. One of the things that really makes Holia special for me is our celebration of difference, that it's not actually the things that we've got in common that are the most exciting things, it's how we're different. And, Holy has always had a proud reputation of whatever you're interested in, you'll find a home for that here. Okay, and before our final panel, we just want to mention you can find information on all of our GCC subjects on our website. Yes, go to holia.co.uk where you can find more information about each course. And our teachers have all recorded short presentations for their department and you can find out all about our facilities and what our classrooms are like. And for this discussion chat with teachers, we are joined by Mrs. Warmby, Mr. Campbell, Ms. Soames and Mr. Fall. Great, Mr. Fall, we'll start with you. Can you tell us about the entry criteria for coming into Holier at Year 10? There are two parts to our entry criteria. We ask for students to have a mean average CAT score of 109 or higher, and for students to have a progress test score in English and maths of 103 or higher. And can I still apply if I don't meet these entry criteria? Absolutely you can. Every year we take on a significant number of students who come in through the appeals process. So really, I can't say it strongly enough, do apply and we will guide you through next steps with the appeals process if required. 
And what are the timelines like for these applications and appeal processes? Our first timeline is 8th of December. As Mr Fall has said, any student who uh, is interested in joining us at Holia should apply by that time, regardless of whether you meet entry criteria. That allows us the opportunity to give you advice and support you through the next stages. Following that, we'll gather the information we need from your current schools or the students' current schools. Uh, and then we'll invite the students in in the first week of February to meet with us, have a look around the school, for us to have a chat with them and find out a little bit more about why they want to join us here at Holia. Following that uh, is the deadline for any appeals, which is on the 18th of February. Thank you. I've heard Holia really expects their students to be independent with their studies. Is this true? The end goal would be having you know, students who are independent and lifelong learners, but that's long, part of a very long process. Mm -hmm. Um, when, when students join us in year 10, then they get a lot of support, a lot of guidance from all of their teachers. Mentors play a massive role in helping organise them, settle them in, get them used to all their new subjects, um, where they're moving, where they're going. And that support carries on through the GCSE and then hopefully it's four year programme, so on to A-levels or the IB. Some of the students watching tonight will have some sort of additional learning needs. What's in place to support those students? Here we have um, a great team full of teaching assistants, educational welf welfare officers, um, SENCO to support students inside and outside of lessons um, and support their learning, whether it's organising their time or supporting them with a subject they find difficult. And I think what's great here is us as uh, subject teachers, we really try and tailor the learning experience to the individual. And we don't see these individuals as a label, we see them as a learner. And we think, how can we challenge, how can we support, and how can we create lifelong learners? I've had nothing but fantastic experiences. Uh, I have some <laughs> additional needs when it comes to writing and spelling, but throughout the four years I've been here, Teachers and support staff have been nothing but brilliant. They've always been there. And in terms of exams, in terms of just lessons, they've been really fantastic and supportive. And are there any changes to the Holier GCSE programme for next year? I think perhaps the standout item is our design engineer construct course. We're currently in the first year of delivering that programme. That is a course for aspiring engineers and construction industry experts. It challenges students to use new digital technology to design buildings. I mean, what a fantastic opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we're really delighted that we're sponsored by Rock Construction, who our viewers might know are, will be delivering on the new hospital project. And so our students are having the opportunity to visit construction sites, to work with rock engineers and architects. Um, just such an innovative programme. Yeah, definitely. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr Campbell, for anyone who plans to study music next year, what will be the minimum performance grade they'll want to achieve? Our experience has shown us that to be successful on the GCSE music programme, you do need uh, some prior experience and performance uh, knowledge. Um, we set that at a grade two standard. Now that doesn't have to be uh, a formal examination, it just has to be the equivalent to that performance level. Um, like all of our subjects at GCSE, the main um, criteria for entry is enthusiasm and interest in the programme. But as I say, with, with music we found that just that little bit extra pre-awareness of the subject is useful. A big part of the whole experience for me is not just what we do in lessons, but what we do outside of lessons. And I know Mr Campbell, our sport is very big here, we'll be really successful. But for those who maybe not into sport or just want to try something new, what else do we offer at Holia? We try very hard to offer a wide range of extracurricular opportunities. We know that our students come in with diverse interests. That's part of the beauty of Holia. So um, there's a whole range of things going on. Um, subject specific clubs and classes to help students with their studies are, are very popular. Uh, we also have um, more broad-ranging activities like the Holia radio station, which has just come online. I know, Noah, you're a, yeah. a key component of that, <laughs> which students will have the opportunity to be part of, um, whether they're in year 10, year 11, 12 or 13, over the next few years. Uh, we have a chess club, we have uh, avid music and peripatetic music um, departments. Uh, we have performances every year, music performances and uh, performing arts performances. Been cut short a little bit over the last year with uh, COVID, but we're expecting those things to come back online very soon. Uh, we have a, a very active student council which contribute to 
uh, all aspects of uh, school life. So there's a real range of activities out there. And I think what's really important is we, we always respond to student needs. So sometimes students come to us and suggest new clubs. So a good example of that was last year, quite rightly, a number of students wanted to get involved in the Black Lives Matters campaign. And out of that work, one of our teachers is now leading a debating club where students can really practice the art of putting forward the views that they feel so strongly about. Yeah, I think holding has been great for that. I was part of the youth assembly and that's got me involved politically, locally and through the international baccalaureate, thinking internationally about politics and through social issues. Holy is fantastic for that sort of thing. And Mr. Campbell, um, you've had the opportunity not just to be a teacher at Holier, but you've had two sons who joined Holier at 14 and made their way through and have now just finished university. What was the whole experience like for you as a parent? Uh, it was a very positive one. My sons were happy where they were. Uh, they enjoyed their, their previous school, but they, they made the decision to come and have a look at Holier and to think about what that might offer them. They liked the idea of being here and being here for four years and having that security of knowing where they were going to be. When they got to year 11, they were particularly interested in the international baccalaureate. I know that's what you study there, Noah. And it's really opened their eyes to, to a range of subjects that, they, that they've taken forward. Yeah, and for families that are entitled to the Jersey Premium Funding, what is that used for at Holier? Anything that, and everything that can put students in a position to fulfil their incredible potential. So sometimes that's quite personal and unique to the student, so it might be supporting with equipment such as laptops, specialist technology, textbooks. But moreover, we use the funding we have to have a really fantastic training programme for our teachers so that our lessons are lively, they're energetic, they're stimulating. So students really feel part of the learning, they want to succeed, and they end up doing really, really well. We heard earlier about your experiences as a former student here at Holier, but I understand that Mrs Wormsby and Ms Soans, you are too. So can you tell us a bit about your memories and what really made the school special for you? Well, I think the, the best um, thing about Holy is you make lifelong friends and you cherish those kind of memories, in particular from Chic Week with raising money for charity. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, with, with the Chic Week, that's the holier tradition, yeah, you know, definitely. where you have the week of being as crazy as you want, dressing up and just raising a lot of money for charity. Thank you all for joining us. We've had some really great responses and I'm sure we'll have a lot of new students looking forward to meeting you next year. And now that brings us to the end of our 14 plus virtual event. Thank you for joining us. And if you'd like to join us in September of 2022, we all need your application by the 8th of December. We really hope to see you next year. See you soon. Thank you.